There's been a big intrusion in a way. I, I can never be anonymous now. That's gone. I know that this time I'm going to be running more drugs than I've run before. I'm not doing it again. So it's all or nothing. I don't see his signs unless it's something stupid like walking through a crowd. He's an animal. That's the only way you can describe him. And not a particularly pleasant animal when he's training. They all know who he is and they all avoid him like the plague. Bigorexia, or what we sometimes call muscle dysmorphia, tends to be focused on people who think of themselves as being not masculine enough. For some people it's, well, I do I get bigger or I'll end up killing myself. meant to be an experiment to see how far you could push yourself, not kill yourself. There's something not right. And apparently a car's going to arrive, flash its headlights and we're going to follow it. I haven't got a clue where we are. Oh, hang on a minute. What we're waiting for now is basically a black market chemist. I'm going to make one lights up test off for a sippy light. I just didn't realise it was quite that simple. So they actually test them, did you? I took the risks, I took a gamble, and I paid the price. I had no idea what was coming. So if I told you that I do 5,000 milligrams of steroids a week, 2.5 grams of testosterone a week, 